I purchased this TP-Link WR902AC travel router from Amazon. I purchased it for its advertised function, which is that it can share a phone's hotspot and connect multiple clients to the one network. However, with an iPhone 12 on iOS 14, this doesn't work. I called TV-Link to troubleshoot the problem and they told me it was a security feature of iOS. However, this is not the case and I'll show you how to get it working. So this is the router here. Underneath it, I've just got a fan glued to it to keep it cool. I've got a USB to Ethernet adapter and just a USB-C dongle in the laptop. I'll be using Mac OS. If you're on Windows, you might be able to follow along. However, it might be difficult. The first thing I'm going to do is just plug these dongles in. The Ethernet goes into the Ethernet port and the USB into the laptop. Then we'll head over to the computer. What I've got open here is the router's default firmware. This is usually where you come to configure the router. What we're going to be doing is replacing this firmware. We're going to use the OpenWRT. So the first thing you need to do is come to this website. This is the TP-Link TL WR902AC version 3. Come down to installation and under the firmware open WRT install, click download and this will download the firmware. However, I've already done this and here it is here. So what we're going to do is right click, rename and call it TP recovery dot bin. Put this in your downloads folder and then we're going to come to the instructions here. I'll put this in the description. We're going to open the terminal application. Paste this command, it'll ask you for your password. We change directories to the downloads folder and we type sudo cp for copy tp recovery.bin to slash private tfp TFTP boot, enter. And now this command will confirm that. Is it running? Our next step is to open our settings, our network, and this is my USB Ethernet device. The Wi Fi can be disconnected. And here it says configure IPv4. We want to do this manually. The IP we're going to type is 192.168.0.66. Remove the router. And the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And apply. The next step is back over at the router. The next step is to unplug the router. It's the micro USB cable, but keep the Ethernet cable plugged in to the computer. My router may look different to yours. It's just because I've glued a, uh, a fan onto the bottom of it. So we're gonna press and hold the reset button. I'm just using a screwdriver. And then while the button's held down, plug the power cord back in and hold the button down for seven seconds. See the second light started blinking, we can release. 
what this is doing is installing the firmware. It'll reboot once it's done. Back on our computer, we've got two more commands to copy. The first one is just to turn the service off that we used to get the new firmware onto the router. It might ask you for your password again. And then we just check to see if it's running. Nothing's running. So now we can open our network settings. And where we configured the IPv4 before, this time we're just going to use DHCP. Click apply. Now we're going to switch to our phone. On our phone, we're going to open the settings and go to our personal hotspot. Here we allow others to join. You can set a password, but what we really want to do is turn on maximize compatibility and we're done. Okay, now open a new browser tab and navigate to 192.168.1.1. This is our new router firmware. It'll ask you to log in. There's no password. Just click login. Navigate to network, wireless. And for radio zero, we're going to click scan. Find your iPhone or Android. Click join. Enter your password. Leave everything default and submit. Make sure the mode is set to N. Everything looks good. I set the channel to auto and I click save. Now we're going to click the one that says SSID open WRT and click edit. Make sure the mode is set to N. Leave all this. Under wireless security, I'm going to click WPA2 PSK and add a password. Click save. Then enable, open WRT. Click save and apply. Turn the Wi-Fi on. And we should see a new network called OpenWRT. It might take a second. Okay, here it is. Enter your password. And we're connected. We should have internet connection. Yep. The next thing we're going to do is install a package so the router automatically connects to our phone and we leave and come back. So open this link, I'll put it in the description and search for browser download URL. Next to this is it link, copy that, paste it, and download. In our downloads folder, we're going to rename this and just get rid of the version number to keep it simple. Okay, on this GitHub page, there's some installation instructions. We're going to open the terminal again, and 
SSH to root at 192.168.1.1. Type yes and then hit enter and run the router. So the first thing you do is type OPKG update. This will take a second. While we're doing that, we can open a new tab and change directories to downloads where we have the file we just downloaded. We're going to type SCP WWAN hotspot and then root at 192.168.1.1 colon slash TMP. Okay. 100% that's done. This is still going. Okay, now the update command's done. We can type cd slash tmp to change directories. Then opkg install ip and iw info. It will take a minute again. Okay, that's done. We'll copy this command, paste that, and this will install some more packages. We'll just have to wait again. I got an error, so I'm just going to run opkg. Update again, and we'll wait for this command to run, and then I'll copy and paste our install back to the terminal, and it should fix the problem. One last command, opkg install nano. We've got everything we need. Now we can install WAN hotspot. OPKG install WAN hotspot.ipk. Enter. Now I've got everything installed. I'm going to edit the configuration file by tapping nano. ETC config main hotspot. This is a text editor. Just press the down arrow. Come down here to where it says scan out auto. And we're going to remove this hashtag to yes. I'm going to remove the blacklist to blacklist equals zero by removing the hashtag and changing the three to zero. This won't blacklist the iPhone if it fails to connect. And then when you can hit Control O, enter, Control X, and exit. Then what we do is copy and paste the enable command and restart the service. Okay. Now, back on our web page, we can refresh. And we want to go to system, software. Sorry, system startup. And what we want to do is 
just come down to Wayne Hotspot and click Enable, and we're done. This is the router fully configured, and you can connect as many devices as you'd like.